What up, YouTube? My name is Josh Gonzalez, coming at you guys on a nice sunny day over in South Jersey. Um, so today I want to talk about a few of the coding features I've implemented into my car. Uh, I've been using an app called Beamer Code. Now, first of all, if you have a BMW, you have to get this app. Highly recommended. It just makes it so much simpler than going and getting your car coded at the dealership or running flashes with a laptop. Or It's just so simple. It's an easy, straightforward interface. It's an app available on Apple, Android. Easy 30 bucks. It's actually a little less than 30 bucks. It's well spent. And it's just... It gives you the access to personalize your car in whichever fashion you want, being just little things here and there. And there's obviously some bigger things you can get into. Um, so I just want to talk about that. I've learned a few lessons along the way. Uh, the main thing for me starting off was Time Media interface in my car for a retrofit rear view camera. So I just learned very quickly that my head unit coding features weren't going to work with that. So I had a few errors that I had to go figure out. So just like heads up. If it's, if it's something that you have no idea what you're doing, then there's just procedures you want to just take precautions. But, I mean, it's very straightforward once you get the hang of it. I'm no expert or anything. I've just done it a bunch of times where now I'm just comfortable. So, what I have done to my car, uh, started off with just the little things because, I mean, I had never done anything like this before. Just like most of you guys probably haven't either. That's why I click on this video to hear me talking about this. So, I mean... I'm going to make this pretty much an information video on just what I've done. And then if you guys are interested in seeing the procedure, I can walk everybody through it. Or if you want to know certain codes, I can look it up for you. I mean, I've just done a bunch of stuff. I've learned falling on my face with my head unit being that because the MMI was installed, there was an error that was sent. So for like a day or two, my whole iDrive system was frozen, wasn't working. So I had to go figure that out. Um, so what I've done to my car is... One of the first things I did was after I figured out the whole head unit thing was I changed the startup animation. So at the beginning, it was just I had to connect to drive. It's just kind of boring. Once you're in the car long enough, you see the same thing every day. You just got to switch it up a little bit. So I changed that to the M performance startup animation. So I'll show you guys that right now. Also, just little things here and there, um, the seatbelt chime. So you can go in there and disable the chime. You can disable having the little notification in the instrument cluster. You can change the duration. So it's at first, your uh, seatbelt chime is at a duration of 100 seconds, which when you're in the car and you're driving and you haven't put your seatbelt on, that feels like forever. I changed mine. It's about 15 to 20 seconds now. So it's just a quick ding, ding. You know, it's annoying chime, but, I mean, it serves a quality purpose i mean put your seatbelt on drive safe but it's something i didn't want um so also just little things like i keep saying uh, i have the door lights up the uh, activated so when my car is in reverse obviously the reverse lights are the white reverse lights that light up i have now the door lights light up when i'm in reverse too so that way anybody just from the sides can see that you're backing up it's just cool little features like that um also you can disable the Start up warning disclaimer, which is that annoying disclaimer that's, oh, hey, don't use iDrive while driving. Like, okay, thanks. Yeah, duh. You can disable that, which is really cool. Um, another thing I've done, which didn't actually take effect into my car, being that I don't have the tech package or the nav package, is you can enable the video in motion. So that's something I feel like people are going to hop on if you have the capability to watch DVDs or watch MP4s via USB. I don't have that, unfortunately. I'm super jealous about it, but you can enable video in motion. There is an option where you can enable the video for, you, for the USBs, but it basically makes it so it adds formats and like recognizes different formats. So that's really cool depending on what you're using, if it's .mov or MP4, whatever, MV4. whatever I think is for the Apple's video software. So yeah, and then moving forward, I've also coded in the brake force display. So instead of having, you know, you hit your brakes and it's like the area enlargement, it's just a, a red brake. I change it so it flashes. Um, for my next code, I'm most likely gonna do a code in the REM because for the code, when I was in the REM module, it didn't actually reset the ECU for me. So that's just like a part of the procedure. Once you get used to it, it runs the code, resets the ECU, and that's what's implemented. So it didn't actually reset for me. 
So I have to just go in and maybe just keep trying around and figure it out. So I'm going to most likely do a code in the REM module. That maybe that, that whole reset of that code can implement the brake force display. So most likely my next video will be, I was, I was thinking if I was either going to do the side markers on the front the, for the turn, uh, the turn lights, I'm just going to take those off so that way they're not always on when my headlights are on, but I'm most likely just going to do the rear DRLs so that way they're just on all the time being that they're sweet and hopefully I can figure out if my REM module is going to reset or not. So yeah, that's cool. And then there's just like a bunch of little things. Um, for me, it didn't work, but the indicator flashing on the locking and unlocking of your car, or for me, this also didn't work for me, being that I don't have comfort access, but you can use your key fob to unlock and lock, and it'll bring the mirrors in and out. So there's just like a bunch of cool little features like that. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions. Let me know if you guys want me to do any specific videos. I've already done one on the comfort access where now I can use my key fob to, when I lock the car, my windows go up and down depending on unlock and lock. Um, so yeah, let me know if you guys want to see any specific features, any specific procedures, and I can walk you guys through it. Uh, any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching.